Five, four, Do it! three, just hit. Do it! <sighs> Another one falls. Every day, someone falls. You know what's funny about the Jussie Smollett uh, incident? I just find it insane that sometimes the LGBTQ community goes out of their way to seek validation or to make themselves look like heroes. Just saying. Um, I don't have anything against that community at all. Um, of course, incidents like these uh, actually just make the whole group look bad when actually they're good people. It's just incidents like these downplay true hate crime incidents. And allegedly, Jesse Smollett. <laughs> okay, I know I'm not trying to laugh or anything. This is a serious story. I just think it's funny that he went out of his way to allegedly pay two Nigerian brothers, gave them red hats, and told them to meet him outside of a Chicago apartment and attack him, assault him, and pour bleach on him. That's crazy. But this is the world we live in. And allegedly, um, he did it because his screen time, he felt like he was getting wrote off of the show Empire. That's where he's from. That's where I know him from. And I loved his role. I respected his work. Um, but allegedly, this is why he did this, so he can garner more attention. And maybe that would give him more screen time. Whatever we'll do, we'll do. Now, um... He's actually being slashed from the show. He actually had nine scenes in a musical number uh, for the last episode. So it's going to be like a huge, huge like thing for him. And he just completely screwed it all up. He screwed it all up just because he did this little incident. And all I can say is to the people who actually go through hate crimes. Um, I'm sorry this had to happen like this like I'm sorry something like this happened it this is ridiculous it should it shouldn't have never happened but it just goes to show how much people are willing to do for fame and attention or to keep a status you know if he was willing to do something like this who knows he probably would I mean this sounds a little outlandish but he would probably pay to get someone else assaulted or even killed just uh, stay ahead this is the definition of corruption and um jesse smollett i hope if you're hearing this hopefully or if you've heard any of the other videos criticizing you hopefully you've taken a lesson from this but you're pretty much done no one this is kind of unforgivable you know when you do something like this it makes you look very sinister it makes you it makes you look so bad that no one's going to want to hire you in the entertainment business. Hell, this type of stuff could probably even keep you from actually getting a real job. Like it's, and I'm sure you've made a good amount from Empire. Hopefully you invest. But man, that <laughs> this is tough. And usually I don't make commentary videos on this type of stuff. But I feel like I just wanted to get my opinion out on the situation. Now, if you were going to lose your parts, why go out of your way to fake an assault and pay people allegedly? Now, we don't know if this is true and the investigation is still ongoing, so this is not fact. I'm not saying this is fact, but I mean, it's looking like it's true, at least parts of it, that you were familiar with these two gentlemen <laughs> that allegedly beat you down in front of an apartment that you paid them to do it and to pour chemicals bleach why would you tell them to pour bleach on you but i guess you have to look make it look you know real, as realistic as possible right um there were reports that it was mag maga hats like uh, make america great again hats that the two nigerian brothers were wearing but apparently that's not true and i did hear from sources i don't know if this is true but um i heard from sources 
that apparently these two brothers or the two people who allegedly attacked him were paid to attack him are actually cooperating with the um, with the law right now with law enforcement so this isn't really looking good for Smollett at all like I said he's already got scenes cut he's these are probably the last few episodes he's ever gonna be in and they're probably just gonna get rid of him entirely uh, we're gonna miss him on the show I, I kind of stopped watching Empire I didn't really keep up with it but man it it's crazy to see like what people will do like and my mom watches that show my my family watches that show and uh, I just wonder what she thinks about it. Like, I, I probably should call her and ask and be like, hey, you know that, that, that dude up on that show that you like when he sings? Did you know he did all this, allegedly, to keep his role? It's like the mainstream TV, the mainstream TV industry is losing its credibility every day. I mean, let's start with The Verge. I, I know I'm going off on a tangent, and talking about something unrelated to this story but think about the verge copyright striking content creators just because they don't like criticism they don't they want to sweep things under the rug I, I this is a different situation but this guy went out of his way to do something so fucked up just so he could keep a tv role this is to show you how far people in hollywood are willing to go like they will go out of their way and use money and resources to try to get what they want. And this has been happening throughout the entertainment industry forever. And now you have everyday people like content creators making content. And most of us aren't that sinister. And most of us don't even have the money to do that if we were that sinister. So it just goes to show like our side is more morally we are morally more i would say we're not as evil as the mainstream entertainment industry like you would never hear of a youtuber i think at least not now getting assaulted so they can get more views on the youtube channel you know what i take that back maybe logan paul would have done it he i mean he filmed a dead body for views i mean there's no telling what a youtuber is going to do next but all in all all i can take from this situation is that don't try not to even worship celebrities or love celebrities because you never know who they really are me watching jesse smollett taught me a lesson i adored this dude i liked watching his, his performance on empire and i i would never think he would do something like this but ultimately you just don't know that person that is behind that facade of who they're acting to be on a script or whatever you don't know what those people do inside their home so at the end of the day love their work but you don't have to love them and uh hopefully no one supports him after this if they do i mean i guess people deserve to be forgi forgiven but the point i was making before i feel like this is something that's completely unforgivable <laughs> it's it's so unforgivable in my opinion and it's you know what so many celebrities came out and defended him because at first people thought the story was true before that it even the before the allegations of him allegedly like just planning this shit out <laughs> like celebrities were coming out defending them saying hey crops need to stop um this this and that and it turns out that it was all fake i mean well allegedly fake i gotta say allegedly because it's not true yet but i mean it's looking like it's in that direction and i believe he actually had an interview or talked about it or something or someone tried to interview him and he actually did not want to respond or something I'm like, dude, that that's making it even more shady. You didn't even want to come out and do an interview after you got attacked. Like, I get it if you like beat up real bad in a hospital and you hurt, but like you most likely you had the ability <laughs> to like, I don't even know, man. Yeah, 
when I see this type of shit, I'm just like, how did this even happen? <laughs> Anyways, Arlenators, make sure you subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. And also, more Resident Evil videos are coming soon. And more reaction videos are coming soon. Anyways, peace!